Alright guys, this is part 2 on how to stop them on your PS2 Slim. And on part 1 I had help from a friend and he uh, he helped me make the video and we took apart the PS2 Slim and we put pretty much the sticky tack or the clay that you uh, pretty much should be needing in order to uh, patch up the uh, the sensors so that the disc can spin freely while the, it is open and you can do the disc flop trick. Now. In part two, here are all the things you will be needing. You will be needing your computer, a laptop, which is able to burn DVDs. Also, will be needing the original 007 Agent Under Fire game. You will be needing a blank DVD plus or minus R. Preferably a uh, minus R, but plus R also works fine too. And also your USB thumb drive, flash drive, or like what I'm using, a converter drive here. It doesn't matter which one you use. I'm just using a converter drive. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go on this website here. It is called thegeekstreet.com. Uh, they will be in the description box below. You'll also need WinRAR, which will also be in the description box below for download if you don't already have it. You can click on free MC boot. This is pretty much the exploit or the hack uh, in order to soft mod your PS2. So you're going to click on that and you're going to get a download link. You're going to click OK and once it's finished downloading, uh, it is the newbie package. So you should get something like that. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to go back to onto your desktop and you make a folder and make a new folder called PS2. And into that PS2 folder, you will also make a folder called Memento. Yeah, you make a folder called Memento, and in that folder there should be nothing in it. You're just gonna have those two folders there. So what you're gonna do is you're going to um, extract the newbie package into the PS2 folder. So just kind of drag it in the PS2 folder. You can just extract; it doesn't matter. And once it extracts, you should get the newbie package on your PS2 folder. Uh, sorry about the glare; it's sunny outside, so. Um, the next thing you're going to need to do is go back on streetgeek.com, click on U Launch L, right here. And click on that, and you'll get another download link. Click OK, and you're going to install it. You'll get something like this, and you will again extract this to your PS2 folder. So you should get something like that, as well as newbie package and memento. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is go back onto the Geek Tree again and you're going to then click on Memento Disk Patcher. And we will be needing this to patch the uh, 007 game that we will be uh, pretty much making a copy of. So once you've uh, downloaded that, you should get something like this. You'll get these four files here. Just, uh, you know, extract it to the PS2 folder. Uh, you should get like four folders you should get like four files on your uh, PS2 folder. Just cut those and paste them to the Memento folder. You should get something like that. Okay, once you've done that, you will next need to get a, uh, a pretty much a burning program. Uh, so one of them is called Image Burn. Just uh, I'm going to open up a blank page here. Type in imageburn.com. Once you've done that, uh, just click on download here in the upper left, and you'll get a download page, which pretty much is the latest version. Just click on Mirror 1, and you'll see download now. Just click that, and you also need to install that onto your computer. So once you install that, you should get a little icon just like that. Once you've done that, you will also need to go get Apache. So you need to go to this website here, it's called SKS App, so it'll be in the description box. Um, and you're going to highlight over the PS2 apps icon, and you're going to click on miscellaneous. Once you've done that, scroll down to you see Apache version 1.1, click on that, and you get another download page, uh, download it, and you should get something like this. You're going to also extract this to your PS2 folder. So here are all the things you should be having. You should have Memento, Newbie Package, Ulaunch Elf, and Apache. Don't worry about these other files, you'll get to them later. 
Okay, once you have those things and all that crap downloaded, you're going to go on to Image Burn. At the start, this is when we're going to take our original copy of 007 Age Under Fire. So while that's loading, go ahead and grab your copy. See if I can actually grab it. There we go. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to click on Create Image File from Disk and you're going to insert your game to your uh, CD drive wait for the uh, computer to read it as well as the image burn, wait for that to read okay, and you should get something like this Anything that says like Bond off, like uh, 007, James Bond, anything that pretty much says, uh, as, well, you know, to the game, anything that's, you know, like, uh, noticeable from the game, like 007, anything like that. So once, uh, once it reads it, uh, you're going to click on this right here. This will pretty much make a uh, ISO file onto your computer, and it will, uh, pretty much just make the game. So once it's done with that, you can. Uh, close image burn. You can take out your James Bond 007 Age Under Fire game. Just put that away for now. And next, you will need to open up Apache. So go onto your PS2 folder. Click on Apache. Actually, no, no, never mind. First thing you want to do, click on U Launch Elf version 4.11. Here will be a file called uncompressedboot.elf. You're going to copy that. So copy it, and you're going to paste it to the uh, root of the PS2 folder. And you're going to rename it driving.elf. Make sure it's all in capitals, and that's it. Just leave it like that. Driving.elf, all in caps. Once you've done that, you, now you can go ahead and open up Apache. Once you've done so, click on File, Open ISO, and you're going to go look for the 007 Age Under Fire ISO that we just created. I saved mine to my computer, so just click on that, and you should get something like this. Once you open that up, you'll get like five files. You to click on Driving.elf, do not double click, just click it. Go to ISO Tools, change TOC for selected file, and on the size here, you're going to go back to your uh, PS2 folder, I'm going to right click on driving.elf, click properties, and you're going to look at the size. Now, as you can see, the size here is 869464. You're going to pretty much put that onto the size here, on the third column. Do not worry about the first two, you do not need to edit those, just the third one. Make sure it is 869464, whatever size your version is. Then click update. And then you're going to click on driving.elf again. You're going to click on ISO tools once again. And you click on update selected file. Uh, next, you will need to navigate your way to the PS2 folder. Then hit the drop down, click on PS2. And you're going to click on the driving.elf. You're going to uh, update that, and you should get a little pop up here that says uh, file has been updated. Once you've done that, go ahead and click X. X out of. Uh, that. Uh, next thing we'll need to do is you'll need to open up Memento. So click on that. You will need to click on Memento Disk Patcher. Click on Patch ISO Image, and you're going to find the uh, James Bond game that we created. So go to my computer, open disk drive, click on Bond off the ISO. And mine is already patched, but yours will say Image Patched. Once you've done that. You can go ahead and open up Image Burn. Wait for that to load. And this is when you can grab your uh, blank DVD. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on Write Image File to Disk. Click on this little folder up here. Go look for the uh, 007 Age Under Fire game, which is right here. Double click that. And next, you will uh, insert your uh, blank CD, no, blank DVD plus or minus R. Now, as you can see, I already have 
the game burned but I'm just going to show you what's going to happen here so you're going to close that up it's going to read the game here, it'll say like blank DVD or something like that you want to click on this right here once it's illuminated and that will pretty much make the, the copy onto the uh, DVD so once it's done burning onto your uh, DVD go ahead and remove that and I just labeled it 007 Angel Under Fire uh, backup and and now I just put free MC boot to tell me that this would be hacked pretty much. So that's it. That's uh that's part two. Actually, never mind. There's one last thing you need to do. You want to grab your uh USB converter drive, flash drive, thumb drive, whatever, insert it to your computer or laptop. Wait for your computer to recognize it. Click on open to view whatever is in there. As you can see I like some stuff from my Wii here since I saw my my Wii. So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh pretty much copy everything that's in here. Now don't worry about this free MC boot that elf or this install. You only get the install folder after you put the uh hack on the memory card. Uh in order to get free MC boot that elf all I did was click on the newbie pack and I just copied this to the root. You don't have to do that, but I just did it. You can do it if you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to copy everything in the PS2 folder. This is what you should have. All this right here. Well, except for the install. You're going to copy all this into the uh, SD cards. So click on copy, paste, and you're going to wait for it to uh, copy all of it and once it's done you can go ahead and remove your uh, thumb drive or USB flash drive, converter drive, doesn't matter you can just remove it then and that's it that's part two uh, next will be part three and I'll, and I'll be pretty much removing uh, while doing the disc swap on the PS2 Slim and getting the hack on to your memory card. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, check out part 3. And pretty much all you're going to do now is just going to remove the uh, SD card or, your, or you're going to remove your USB and just click on part 3 which should be in, in the link below. Thanks for watching.